Climate hazards can quickly turn into disasters with long-lasting social, environmental and economic effects. Observable changes in the frequency and intensity of extreme weather events makes climate risk management a challenging problem of our times. Both natural and social processes contribute to the production of hazard vulnerability. My dissertation attempts to describe the relationship between physical and social vulnerability and the role of institutions in moderating this relationship. I do this by addressing three broad limitations in existing assessments using the empirical case of urban flooding in southern India. First, the interdisciplinary study of climate risk has led to a lack of conceptual clarity, which means different assessments use different conceptions of risk and vulnerability. The first part of my dissertation forms an integrated conceptual framework of vulnerability and resilience that is useful for such assessments. Second, the scale of analysis is limited by the availability of data at certain resolutions. Assessments at the city level mask the extent of spatial variation in vulnerability at the ward and neighborhood levels. The second part of my dissertation uses secondary data to demonstrate this multiscalar nature of vulnerability to urban flooding. Third, there is a dearth of participatory assessment methods which account for the local specificity in manifestations of vulnerability. The third part of my dissertation uses primary data gathered from interviews, uh, field observations and a critical review of policy documents to identify social processes that produce vulnerability to urban flooding. This work hopes to contribute to the interdisciplinary study of climate risk by refining the theoretical relationship between physical and social vulnerability, adaptation and resilience. This work also demonstrates that a mixed methods vulnerability assessment approach using geospatial data and qualitative interviews can be deployed in countries with data limitations. Urban governance institutions can play key roles in building flood resilience at different levels. And this work hopefully informs existing policies and practices for effective management of climate risk.